Hello, uh, this is a picture of a ground base and it's not, it's, it's different to what I normally do. I'm not desperately good at landscapes, but I spend quite a lot of time drawing pebbles, but I'm not the greatest at doing landscapes. So I, I managed to get a bit of perspective going on, I guess, and the, the, the sense of distance in it with mist and light that give that atmospheric occlusion type affair that you get when you look into distance, like on a misty day, I guess or a, if you're looking into the glare of a light which is basically this because it, it, there's, th this is a landing pad a landing pad of a spaceship and basically you, you've got to imagine this is a football pitch with floodlights that's what I'm drawing out there anyway um, so it's in Colonia well it's not in Colonia it's near Colonia out there and Chapu made this the man who took this picture Commander Elvis Cremen <laughs> He was involved in the initiative to set up Colonia. Now, Colonia is uh, it's about 22,000 light years away from Earth. And basically, he's there because of an accident. So there was this space station that used to do jumps around the bubble. You used to be able to get on it. And it would be here one month, and then the next month it would move over there. And I've been to it uh, whilst it was in the bubble uh, near occupied space and it was famed for having a, an android bartender who ran it and the android bartender was called Jacques and the station Jacques it attempted to jump to Beagle Point which is really opposite side of the galaxy it was a big old deal Jacques's gonna go to Beagle Point this space station the story was that it uh, it failed in the jump the community the, the, the humans <laughs> we uh, we all took part in various different initiatives and goals to to send jacks out to beagle points at collecting fuel and whatnot and uh, unfortunately uh, there was a misjump i mean it was good storytelling really that it misjumped ended up in the middle of nowhere not that far from sagittarius a the center of the galaxy on the left hand side as you look at look top down at the galaxy so he's got no way of getting back he's stuck and uh, there's a community goal. I took part in that community goal. So poorly took part in that community goal. The idea was that he needed repair materials. I remember he had to go and mine osmium for him for some reason. So we, uh, all these miners went out and I went in the mining and mined a bit of osmium as far as I remember. And they started putting it together a, a station there and people started going there and starting to set up home there as it were. Once Jack's station was fixed, you could re refuel and repair there, which is an amazing thing. So very far away from occupied space to be able to refuel and repair your ship. So it started to form a bit of a hub there of people using that as a branching out point for exploration journeys to see all the because there's tons of nebulas. It's in the E. Old Brown Nebula, actually. That's a beautiful purpley pink one. But there's tons, tons of nebulas so close to Sagittarius A, and the star density is so much more dense <laughs> than it is here. Yeah, so uh, there were a few community goals and a few missions set up, and uh, and then. Um, few player groups went out and decided to set up and the galaxy began to be settled. Names were given to systems in that area. Colonia, the name Colonia was given at that time. And Kremen decided he was going to go out by the looks of it and he took part in, in, the, in the big Colonia mission. Kremen apparently did 15 trips to Colonia in 17 days, which anyone who remembers that period in the game will agree is just insane. Now we have the Neutron Highway with little stations along the way. But also we didn't have the Guardian Frameship Drive Booster. So you've got to imagine that everyone's got at least 10 light years less on their jump range. So it's more insane than it would be now doing that number of journeys to Colonia. That's some proper dedication. Anyway, so we delivered apparently the most rares. Uh, he did 5,397 tonnes on his own. So the faction that was given the ground base were obviously so impressed that they decided to give their ground base his name, which is utterly wonderful. That is, yeah. And he says he, he smiles every time he hears it, get, he, he, he hears it mentioned, which is wonderful. I'd love to be able to go on to EDDB and see my name there. To be fair, my name is really common, so I do, but 
and uh, yeah, he, he, he says that a lot of the joy he gets from it is, is memories of playing in 1984. That feeling of uh, not having it be your imagination, but actually having it look that good. And, and then going to a station with your name on it, it's, it, yeah, <laughs> it's fab, it's fab. Anyway, well, yes, thank you for watching, and um, I guess I guess it's got a sort of dark and football pitch quality to it, and uh, hopefully um, it, it, it immortalises <laughs> immortalises Kremen's achievement in some small way, in in in, in a way. <laughs>